and today I'm going to share with you my easy holiday makeup look that I have been wearing in a couple of my videos and a lot of you have been asking me to do a tutorial so that is what I'm doing today. So I will be partnering with Scandinavia to show you how you can achieve this simple holiday makeup look that is flake free and perfect for winter because girl you do not want your makeup to be flaking all over the place. So I'll be sharing with you how I use the makeup primer spray as well as the makeup finishing spray and let me just tell you that the makeup primer spray is so revolutionary I'm obsessed with it because it does not have silicone in it which means that your skin is going to breathe and your pores are not going to be suffocated throughout the day and it just is amazing it makes your makeup stay on for more than 16 hours girl and you need this in your life and another fun fact about this primer spray is that it has vitamins and antioxidants that help to prevent redness uneven skin tone as well as large pores so over time they're gonna shrink in those pores and girl we know we have some of those big pores on our faces that is just life. So Scandinavia was kind enough to give my viewers a coupon code where you can get 15% off and two free sample size sprays and free shipping. Come take a moment. I mean, what more do you want in life, right? It will be linked down in the description bar. So if you want to see how I get this easy holiday makeup look, then just keep watching. First, I clip back my hair and spray the Scandinavia primer onto my face. This primer creates a strong base for your foundation to stay all day, unlike silicone based primers that make your makeup slide all over your skin during the day. I love how easy it is to apply and it won't clog my pores or suffocate my skin which is a huge plus for me. Next I use my CoverGirl True Blender foundation and apply it to my face with a beauty blender. The Scandinavia primer we used actually amps up your drugstore makeup and gives it more staying power. So I'm going to move on to my eyes and I like using scotch tape to help me get a defined look. So what you can do is just take a piece of tape and stick it to your hands a few times and this will help it to lose its stickiness so when it's time to take it off from your face it wouldn't rip off your skin or anything like that. So for my brows, I love using the Trustique Brow Pencil. It works so good. It makes doing your brows so incredibly easy and you have so much precision and control while doing it. So if you're new to brows, definitely recommending this pencil. So to set my brows and keep them in place, I'm using the Anastasia Claire Brow Gel. For my eyes, I'm using the Carly Bible Palette and I'm going in with this warm brown color in the crease of my eyes to give it some depth and definition. Uh -huh. See me in the spotlight, ooh. Next, I'm going to spray a brush with the finishing spray from Scandinavia and this is going to help my makeup stay on so much longer and make the colors pop. So I'm using this champagne color from the Carly Bible palette as well and because of that spray, it comes out 10 times more pigmented and it's definitely going to last a lot longer. Then I'm going to go back in with the brown transition color to make sure that everything is blended in perfectly. So to add a little more depth to my eyes, I'm going to use this darker color right here and I'm only applying it to the outer corners of my eyes just to deepen it up, just to give it a little more sultry look. Next I'm going to tight line with this L'Oreal Voluminizing Smoldering Eyeliner which I really love and I'm only doing this to my top lids, not the bottom. So then I'm taking off my tape and just simply making a little winged liner with this Maybelline Line Stiletto which I love because I'm not really good at doing winged liner and I think that this gives me so much control and it gives me a really precise look and I love it. Next, I'm gonna add mascara because you gotta add mascara, yo. And I'm using the telescopic from L'Oreal Paris. So I'm applying a few coats to my top and lower lashes. Okay, pause one minute. My eyes are really freakishly big right now. <laughs> so once I finish, use and abuse my mascara because clearly this is an ongoing process. I'm gonna go ahead with my concealer from NARS in the shade Biscuit and apply it underneath my eyes to correct any dark circles and just brighten up my skin. And if you have problems with your concealer creasing or foundation fading or anything like that, the finishing spray that we're gonna add in the end is gonna combat all of those problems and make your foundation and your concealer stay all day. So once that is all blended in, I'm just gonna take some powder from this BH Cosmetics palette that I have and apply it all over my face with a big fluffy brush. And then my favorite part is contouring because my nose is crooked, yo, I swear, and I cannot live without this. So I take the darkest color in the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette and apply it to the sides of my nose. And then I take this Maybelline Concealer in a lighter color for my skin tone and apply it down the bridge of my nose. And then I just blend everything away. Gotta blend. Gotta blend, yo. 
So once my nose undergoes a makeup surgery kind of thing here, I'm gonna go ahead and chisel out my cheekbones with the darkest color in the BH Cosmetics palette. And I'm using this brush from Stila, which I'm obsessed with for applying bronzer. So I apply it to the hollows of my cheekbones, my forehead, my jawline, and I just blend it out with an angled brush just to make sure it's not gonna give you any harsh lines. Contouring makes a huge difference on my face and I do not leave the house without it. Let me just tell you that from now. <laughs> I also pass that brush on my neck to make sure everything is blended. Now it's time for blush and I'm using this beautiful Laura Jella Rosy blush and it gives me the perfect amount of colors on the apples of my cheeks. And then I'm using the gold highlight from the Kali Bible palette. Can we talk about that highlight? It is on fleek! It looks so good and I'm applying it above the apples of my cheeks and just at my cupid's bow because that helps to make my lips really pop. So a little trick here if you don't have a lip liner you can just take a lip brush and your lipstick that you're gonna use and outline your lips just like you would do with a lip liner and this really helps to prevent your lipstick from bleeding out or anything like that so the shade I'm using is Ruby Woo from MAC which everyone has been asking me about it is the bomb I love it and it is just my go-to red lips for the holidays so once my lips are aligned I go ahead and fill it in with my lipstick so to finish everything, I use the finishing spray from Scandinavia, which is a lightweight, breathable mist that will make sure your makeup lasts up to 16 hours without flaking or cracking or giving you that cake look that no one wants. I love the fact that this finishing spray definitely takes away that powdery look and it makes my skin look like my skin. And I love that natural semi-matte finish. So that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and saw how easy it was to create this look. Let me just say that I really do love the Scandinavia primer as well as finishing spray because it makes my makeup feel so good. I do not feel as if I'm wearing any makeup. My skin feels really breathable and it gives me that semi-matte look that Kylie Jana is just famous for. And I'm obsessed with it because it's not too matte and it's not too dewy, it's just right. And I love it. So don't forget you can use that coupon code where you can get 15% off as well as two free sample size spray and free shipping. So thank you so much for watching. Thumbs it up if you enjoyed it and if you want to see more makeup tutorials like these. And I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe anyway, I'll see you won't miss a thing. Bye!